Hi guys, welcome to Lee and Toon's channel. Don't worry, you are in the right place. Uh, it's not Thailand, obviously. I'm in the UK and I'm in a pokey, seedy hotel. Uh, probably not so seedy, but it's uh, it's the Premier Inn, working away. Uh, I've been asked by a few subscribers if I could do a, a vlog from the UK. Seems a bit weird. I haven't got my wingman or my wingwoman tune next to me, but uh, I thought it was about time that we uh, we had a chit chat about everything and clarified a lot of things because we're getting so many comments on the uh, the channel. I thought it would just save a lot of time for me, time and effort for me. So this is for my benefit, so I don't have to keep on repeating myself in the comments. And we've got loads of updates coming up for you and uh, uh, loads of opportunities for you guys, subscribers, viewers and other YouTubers as well. Don't worry, I'm not after your money, I am not e-begging, but that's another kettle of fish which we may cover later anyway. Um, it is scripted, but if you know me quite well already, you'll know that I won't have practiced. I, I wrote this in the Chinese about an hour ago, and I, I can't even read it. So it, it may not go as planned, but... Um, well, if you like the channel, then you'll be used to this, and it, it and it might be, it might be good viewing. It might not be, but let let's see how it goes. Right, so I, I'm obviously in the UK, and what lays ahead for today is why I'm in the UK, the dates, and future dates for the UK, and really, what can I say? Is there any future later on down the line of me coming back to the UK, and and if so, and, and if so, why? Other than that, see, I, I have written it somewhere. See, I've even put uh, it is scripted, but I I can't read it. God help us. Only one take. You guys in the UK may have seen um, what was it Casualty, where they're bloody blaring about it all being done in one take. But they rehearsed. I haven't rehearsed. I know it's hard to believe that. So, <clears throat> channel shout outs. I'm going to do this. Now, I did start these a long, long time ago. Although our channel is only five months old, um, after about a month, I started doing shout outs. And really, it was just really to not sort of like increase traffic to other sites because they were already big sites, but they were sites that had really helped me set up and give me not so much advice, but just by watching them. I found it really beneficial and I'm not saying I'm a copycat but uh, you know I, I picked up a, uh, some valuable information there and we tried to integrate a few of those bits and bobs into our channel so I'm more than happy to um, shout out those guys. Now the shout outs tonight, please don't be offended if um, you're one of our mates and we haven't given you a shout out. I've only, I've only listed five and therefore channels that I think are, I wouldn't say on a level, that, that's totally wrong, it's for channels that are, are rural Thailand and sort of like playing off the same bat as us, if that's the right terminology, I, I don't know. It's just channels that I relate to and um, I think if you, if you like our channel, I think you might like theirs, but like I've, I've always said over the, over the, uh, the first few five months of our channel, if you don't like the recommendations, there's so many other channels available out there, and just just go and find them out and 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 go for it. No problem at all. No hard feelings. So after those, uh, are the channel shoutouts, and say there's only five. Then I've got a once in a lifetime opportunity, and again, I'm not after any money. Chill yourselves. Uh, for you viewers and subscribers. Okay. After that, there's going to be another once in a lifetime opportunity for other YouTube channels so as long as you're not a Rodney or a a snake um, then there's some really good opportunities for you in my opinion but I'll elaborate on that afterwards and then after that it's going to be sort of like uh, get you up to speed on what the future of Lee and Toon's channel is going to be about we're not going to be here forever that's for sure uh, we're loving what we're doing but um, we have got plans for the future so it's just to give you a bit of a heads up 
um, of what lies ahead and some you know potential opportunities not just for us but but for you guys as well so um, that's what all lays ahead um, I was just about to say cue the intro but I'm gonna say cue the intro and give feel the love and send the love to my very good friend who has done the rock track for this and I have given him a few shout outs before for Neil Harvey I'm giving him an extra shout out today because he's a gooner he's an Arsenal fan it's been well publicised I'm a Liverpool fan and today we've just signed the Ox so thanks very much Neil he's a lovely player and I'm sure he'll be sorely missed at the Arsenal cue the intro Right then, I'm not I'm not on the wine or the beer, I'm on my black tea. Um, I'm trying to detox, ready to go back to see tune. Um, so we're going to start off elaborating on the UK. So some of you subscribers have asked me to do a, a UK vlog. And in all honesty, I've been trying to put it off because it, this isn't my sort of thing yet. My job is as an instructor standing up in front of people but I'm moving around and I'm laughing and joking and all that and I know I come as a, over as a bit of a Rodney but sitting in front of a little camera is, is, a, is a little bit weird if, if, if you ask me that's normally for me and the missus if we're having a bit of a one to one but uh, I, I'll try and get through it um, so I can't read my writing Jesus um yeah, so uh, I've been asked about my my job. As I said, uh, I'm not I'm not gonna I wasn't gonna do any clips of of me delivering a course, showing PowerPoint slides. It bores me, shitless. So why why am I gonna put that on here? I'm not I'm not gonna do that. But just to give you a bit of a background, I teach confined spaces and working at height. So I've been asked millions of times. I will always ask. I will always answer your comments, and and hopefully you appreciate. I'm not copy and pasting my replies to you, and and the same for Toon when we get a, a asked to comment in in Thai, everything is always um, replied to you um, in a personal way. We, we don't um, we don't bulk or what what would you call it? I don't know. It's not carpet bombing, but you know what I mean. We don't we don't copy and paste all this, you know, standard reply. Thanks for your comment. Cheers, all that sort. Of. I know I always put cheers. But I'll always put your name just to let you know that um, I've read your comment, or Toon's read your comment, and we really appreciate that. It's a massive, massive thing for us. If you if you look at um, if you look at the the amount of comments for our videos, regardless of how many views, I, I don't care about views and subscribers. We've got three and a half million subscribers, so I'm not bothered about. I may have over exaggerated. I'm, we're not bothered about numbers. But it's the comments that count for us, and we've tried to emphasize emphasize that over five months. It's I, I'd rather have I think I mentioned it before. I'd rather have five hundred or a thousand of a Toons Barmy Army, and I know Vince, you're number one. I appreciate that, mate. TB TBA zero one. That is yours forever. But you guys really input into the channel, and it helps us develop the channel as well. It gives us loads of advice. And you make us laugh, and it, and we feel the love from you guys. You know, you you wish us well, and where we cock it up, you give advice. You know, we're going to ignore you, or maybe we'll take it on board. Um, that's me and me and Toon style, but we do really appreciate everyone. Um, I think I've gone off at a bit of a tangent, but I'll try and get my chat. It's one take, even with cue the intro. I sat, I still sat here with my cup of tea, trying to read my notes. So what else have I got? So I've been teaching working at Heights and Provide Spaces for 10 years. It's mostly the uh, the military side of things uh, and teaching them in accordance with their, their procedures. I'm very, very fortunate. I've, I've been over lo loads of places all over the, not just the UK, but um, over the world uh, and some places I can't even tell you about. It's great because I, I sound mysterious. Some of them... Oh my God, it, it's it's not glamorous at all. You know, uh, some of the places that we have to stay in, the mosquitoes are bigger than a flipping bumblebee. But 
you know, I've, I've been there, uh, I've experienced it, and um, it, it, I think long term, it's it's helped me as a, a human being to to be more rounded. Some some may di- may disagree. Uh, what so a couple of years ago, I decided to go um, uh, as a consultancy trainer. I've been with the same instructor, uh, same company for about eight years, and I went consultancy um, because Toom's dad, God bless him, what a lovely bloke, uh, became terminally ill, and Toom was living with me in the UK for eight years, and the, the, the Thai National Health Service isn't, you know as cracked up as the UK and I know we slate off the UK but really guys we you know we are spoiled in comparison so Toon's always been very close to her dad loved him to bits so we took the decision to move our plans forward we weren't supposed to be moving to the to Thailand for another when's my lad 18 so when my youngest is 18 which is January after that we were supposed to be going then but we took the decision for Toon to go back early move near to where her mum and dad were living and then help to take care of him which she, which she did do and thank goodness she did um, so after that there was no point in Toon coming back to the UK so then I had gone consultancy and then I was spending three months at a time in, the, in, in Thailand um, with the long term project being setting up our fishing park and that's what it's always been about so it's been our dream for since the year dot, even when Toon was in the UK with me from right from the start. We wanted to be on the farm. We're crazy about fishing. We love animals. We love working hard, getting our hands dirty, you know, just being out there and working all day and being absolutely chin strapped by the end of the day, coming in and a healthy tie. That that's what working hard but living the dream is for me and Toon. And I know I'm always saying living the when I look back now, you know, you're always saying living the dream. It honestly is is for us. So we started off initially just renting um, a couple of places, and they never re- uh, they never renewed our leases, so they were six month leases. And luckily, a, a tiny little plot of land, it's about a third of an acre, just popped up in the village, about three hundred yards away from Toon's mum and dad. So we took the plunge, we bought it. And when I say we threw up a house, it, it, you think this house on the farm is thrown up, you should have seen this other one. Oh, oh my God. So, um, and I know the, the build hasn't gone quite as well as we hoped on the farm, but this other one, incredible. But Toon oversaw the whole thing, and by hook or by crook, we've got a little house in the village. It's a lovely little house, but it's not where we want to be. It's a stopgap. So the plan was to sell this, to help fund our build project on the, on the farm and where we live it's out in the sticks we have really struggled for the last year or so to, to sell the house we can't seem to get a really good wage that uh, not wage but rental income that we would be happy with with the investment to give you an idea I'm not bullshit I, I think we spend about 10 grand it's a two bed detached house a big bungalow with a little shop at the front and it's walled all the way around with the gate at the front I mean it's ridiculous you know it was built on a shoestring and it's still a nice property but where we are that's like a premium property and I know most of you look at other channels and you look at the properties there and then they're palatial in comparison and they would probably be snapped up for two or three million, no problem at all. You look on Gordon Tickle's channel, his mate that was selling a property the the other month. I mean, I can't remember the price, but it was a it was a ridiculously cheap price for a palace. We're doing a ridiculously cheap price for a house in an urban area and the locals haven't got the money. So because of that, we're sort of like about twenty grand short and that's why I've had to keep on coming back so rather than keep on coming back every three months to see my kids to see the, the other members of my family my mum my, my, my sister and partly my brother-in-law he's a lovable rogue um, it's just you know to to get a few quid in the pocket but because we haven't been able to sell it I had to give me old boss a ring and thank god I didn't burn my bridges yeah uh, and the day I rang him and I said 
do you fancy it? You know, do you need any more work? He said, tell you what, perfect timing. I was just about to advertise with another instructor. Give us some, give us some months that you can guarantee for a year. So every month, so four weeks in Thailand and three weeks back in the UK. Four weeks in Thailand. And I've been doing that for nearly a year now. So it was every three months initially, then every month. So deep thrain von bo front thrombosis is uh, is waiting to happen for me, that's for sure. My health has suffered, blah de blah. I'm not looking for sympathy, we don't do that. Wayne will give me loads of sympathy because he's like that, you know, he's very he's very sensitive, sensitive boy. Um but you know, it, it's just something that that me and Toon have, have, have had to do. Yeah, we've got savings. I'm not going to sit here and beg for money or anything stupid like that. We don't want to. We don't want to uh, spend our savings because for the first year of living on the farm, we're going to make zero bar. We, we haven't got our heads in the cloud. We know we're not going to make any money. You know, we've got to dig a lake. We've got to. You know, the the bamboo's going to take ages and all those sorts of things. So we haven't got our heads in the clouds. That's for sure. Whether we do make any money in the future is is irrelevant to us. We're, we're not we're not borrowing any money. We've got no debts apart from the motor out there, and you know we're just happy with our lot. Anyway, I'm starting to rant. Let's get on with the next bit. Um, how much longer am I going to work? Well, quite a few of you will know that um, I've got two more trips planned. I was going to go to the Falklands and I was going to have just have one more I was just going to stay here all the way through till the end of November. The Falklands trip fell through. I'm happy because I'm just knackered. Uh, but it was just like mega money and it would have meant that it would knock a, a, a month off my last work trip. Um, so that's fallen through. So I'm going back this Friday morning. So at the moment it is... Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday evening. So I'm going to upload a video tomorrow morning, which is our last one, which is a super dark video, which we, you would have already seen by now. It's going to get crap viewings. It's probably the worst quality-wise I've ever seen, or uploaded rather. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to upload this one. I'm going to upload this one on the Friday morning, just before my brother-in-law Pete picks me up, he's the one with the ginger penis that looks like the bamboo that Toon cut last week, apparently that's what my sister says so this will be uploaded and I'll upload it just before he picks me up so I'll be able to reply to a few comments uh, while I'm at the airport, after that don't know so I might get loads of slating I wouldn't say I don't care, I do, I do care I do care um, so, where was I going? Tangent again. I will be finishing. My last work date will be the very start of December, and then that's it. Done. But the caveat is, unless my old boss offers me an outrageous amount of money. He is half Scottish, so the chances of that are like quite slim. But uh, I know he's short of instructors, so maybe... I, I, I talked to uh, one guy, and, and you, a lot of you will know him, Harry. It comes a point where you just think, that's a lot of money. I want to be here. I want to be in Thailand. I want this lifestyle. Do I need that money? We probably don't need that money, but working a month away or two months away at a ridiculous wage, we could build another bungalow by the side of the lake. So I'll, I'll be, I have my price. You know, so if it, if he matches it, and if the boss says okay, I tune, then we don't know in the future. But I'm pretty sure he's going to say jog on, mate. All right, on to the next one. Jesus, this is going to be about a three-hour video. One take though, did guarantee it. Uh, right, shout outs. I did start shout outs ages and ages ago, um, and. When I watch other people do shout outs, I cringe, I hate them. But when I do them, I like them. So, I, I, I don't know. So let, let's, let's go with this. Honestly, I'm not pissed. I've had two pints, I've had a cup of tea, but I am passionate about shout outs. Minute. I know when I'm rambling because I'm getting hoarse. Now, some of the shout outs 
will be for, and, and, and I think only two of them, will be for previous shout-outs that I've, I, I've mentioned already, okay? Now, if you're not included in the shout-outs, please, please don't be offended. Well, a couple of you, I'll be really happy if you are offended because I flipping hate you, but that's that's another thing. Wayne's with me on this. Um, mm -hmm. Let's not go there. Please don't. Um, the idea of the shout-outs. Partly real appreciation for not just the content of these other channels and the tips that I've picked up just by watching, but I do really value the content. But on top of that, I really appreciate the effort that goes into um, vlogging. And I know I, I don't spend ages editing. Obviously, I'm not going to edit this. You're going to get exactly what, what I've recorded, unfortunately, for you. Um, but it takes a long, long time, a lot of effort. Just to put your camera on, you might just say, oh, you're around, and just flick your camera on. It's, it's not like that at all. It's, it's, when you're new to it, it's intrusive, you know, it, and they, you, 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 can't, you can't, until you've done it yourself, you can't fully appreciate. Um, and I, I was talking to um, one of the guys, I'm gonna give a shout in a minute. Until you just about press that button to publish your video, you do not know what's going to happen. Are you going to get an absolute concophony of abuse? Are you going to get loads of thumbs up, loads of thumbs down? Are you going to get zero views? Are you going to get a thousand views? You honestly, excuse me, you don't know how it's going to go. And thankfully, most of the time we're pleasantly surprised. Um, but sometimes it, it, it doesn't go quite so well. And we, we were, we've had our issues, you know, we've had a few for falls along the way and you take it on the chin but it is really really hard I mean you when, we, when I start talking about some of these guys they've got a lot of subscribers and if you think just one percent two percent never mind ten percent of abusive or trolling comments and all that sort of stuff it does or it can get you down I've turned the corner it doesn't affect me now Anyway, let's get let's get on to it. Uh, so the first one, uh, where is it? I know it in my head. There it is, right there. I can't even remember writing again. Life in Thailand. I'm pretty sure 95% of you guys know life in Thailand. Can I just say that, pause it. When I first started watching, I never knew his name was Paul. He very very rarely gets on camera. I think I've seen him on camera once, maybe twice at the most. And for me, this is the guy that I first watched on YouTube. And when I've been back in the UK, it was like my, not, not my guilty pleasure, it was, I'm missing my wife, I'm missing Thailand, I'm missing the farm, I'm missing the rural life. And this was my escapism. And I watched nearly every single, of his, every single video of his from start to finish. And he'd been going years. I was just one after the other, after the other, after the other. If I could just highlight two things. This bloke has the best man workshop I have ever seen in my life. He's constructed it nearly all himself, if not all himself. So he's done all the metal work, you know, he, he does his welding, he's done the block work. The, I'm not sure if he did the rendering. Thank God I didn't do it because it, my rendering is is on a par with the rest of my DIY. Um, oh, but the, the shelvings, the shelving units is just like shelving porn to me. It's beautiful. But the money shop for me, as well as his little garden, and it, and it is quite small, but what he's actually squeezed in there is amazing. And he does his little homestead, you know, walk around. I love it. Uh, but the money shop for me was his, and it sounds sad, was his drain pipe from uh, the rainwater, so the downpipe that filtered off all the leaves and the rubbish to the side. It's absolutely brilliant. So it's stuff like that. It's so practical, it's very handy, he's obviously very experienced with that sort of, sort of stuff, whereas I am not. Um, Tune's more practical than I am, as everyone knows. Um, apparently my strengths are being a good listener and being, sens being a sensitive boy. So... You know, this bloke is he, he is right up there. And you know, he keeps catfish, he keeps um chickens, qu 
quail, turkeys, ducks, he's doing a whole lot. He's got some goats as well. He's crammed so much into what he's got available and I think he's doing some fish tanks now as well. He's got he's growing some catfishing tanks which he's been doing for years. I think he's doing some frogs as well. So he's doing a little bit of everything. And I think his missus has got um, some rice farm. I can relate with him as far as he had a little um, st uh, fish stock pond which got poached so I'm, I'm more than with him on that one. But I will kill him if I find him and I will find him. It's like taken, I will find you, I will kill you. Well I know who it is already but we won't kill anyone will we? Right, moving on to the next one. Where is it? Somewhere here. I briefly mentioned it before, Gordon Tickle. Now he sounds posh and he's got a posh pad, but believe you me, this is some quality viewing, guys. For those of you that don't already watch this, this fella, he's got a lovely plush pad. I don't know where, I don't know where, I think he's in Chiang Rai, somewhere around there. So he's got a lovely climate. A lot of expats go for Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai. You know, you're getting a, a um, I know it still gets hot, but you get the other, you know, the, the other end of the scale as well. Whereas as it's just, hot or hot and wet or hot and dry you know we're in campaign pet so there's a lot of expats in that area but this bloke has got a really nice place but he's also doing the homesteading side side of things as well aquaponics oh my god it's 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 brilliant i don't fully understand it all i'm looking into it i'm going to poach some of his ideas i don't know i don't mind admitting when i copycat someone not like some no, let's not go do it um and on top of that, my favourite bit is his retreat up into the mountainside with a, uh, he's got like a little dam set up and it's got an overflow, like a spillway going down into the, like a ravine into the river, the river floods and there's all fish in the rice fields. It's really, really good viewing. Um, with his sidekick, Jeff, and although he's a blue nose Everton supporter, uh, the bloke's got some serious skills as far as it comes to um, fish keeping so check it out and uh, it's good view and, and some good humour on there as well um, I, I mean take it for a given if I, if I like a channel there's got to be humour involved I mean I know my humour's subjective and uh, but some of these channels they're a really good laugh sometimes the video might not be that much of a laugh but if you check out the comments Oh my God, it, it, it's a scream. But the, but the comment-wise, there's even better to come, I promise you. Where am I going now? Okay. Now this bloke, he wears socks and sandals. So immediately you just think, oh my God, I'm not going to check out this channel. Believe you me, this bloke is an Australian and he's obviously quite well educated, unless he's pulled the wool over my eyes. And he analyses everything a lot so whenever I reply to him I have to think a lot I, I do respect this guy a great deal as I do with all youtubers but I've got a, uh, um, a bit of a soft spot for Harry and who are in now don't forget all, all these guys that I'm shouting out there'll be a, a, a link in the description if if I remember no I promise it will I will get my shit together I will do it okay now so far, Harry has uploaded, I think, 12, 12 videos, okay, and they're all slideshows, and I've done one slideshow, and I loved it, because they were my slides, but they, and, and it was to Neil's music, yeah, Neil, the gooner, that just lost the ox today, remember, and so to me, I, I just love the bits. I just love the bones of it, and so does Toon. It's Toon's second favourite video we do, but it, it didn't get that many views, it didn't get that many likes, but, but whatever. Trust me, Harry's slideshows, the music's great, the timing's great, the editing. I can't zoom in and out with with the limited software I've got. You get a slide and, and that's it. It's just how long you have it on there for. But this bloke does some quality stuff. And he is in a rural location. Like all these channels, it's rural Thailand. So, um, excuse his socks and sandals. Thankfully, there's no there's no slides of those. Um, I think he's going to have about a week of not posting anything. And I think, I'm not sure if he promised, but he has intimated 
that there may be some video footage coming up later on. So, but get on there, have a look, post a comment. He will definitely reply, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you'll get on really well. I did give Harry a shout out as well as I did Gordon and Life in Thailand many moons ago, but I gave Harry a shout out when he was, um, I'm going to say, ju ju uh, just a subscriber or viewer. That, that is not condescending at all, but it didn't really help him as far as his channel goes. Yeah, I'm trying to spread the love, and later on you'll, un you'll understand why. Uh, now, the next bloke, you are going to love him. Or, or hate him. <laughs> I, I personally love his channel uh, because he swears more than my wife too. I've got, I've got to read him. Um, he is well. I, w I was in the comment section. Um, I think it was earlier this morning before I went to work, or was it late last night? It's all getting a bit blurry now. There's so many correspondents, and um, yeah, I think his comment was, "Well, at least I'm honest." And then another bloke, and this was when he was <laughs> ripping into me, and another uh, viewer said, I think you meant to say you were brutally honest. And he rephrased it, he said, I would like to say that I'm more. it's more tough love. Now this bloke, he says it how it is. There's no, there's no, um, there's no beating about the bush with Wayne, that's for sure. But what I like about it, other than that, it, other than him speaking his mind, is... He has the best goats in Thailand. Now, life in Thailand has some great goats, but these goats are the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. They can open open the gates on their own, and they run down the road, and they're laughing. They're not laughing. Can a goat laugh? He probably can. But the dog tries to play with them as well, and it is just hilarious. Um, he's, a, he's a mechanic. You know, he's ex-forces. He's very practical. He doesn't mind telling you when things have cocked up. You know, you, you see so many... You might have seen me on, on some of your comment, uh, replies to your comments. There's so many channels that are, like, super sanitised. You know, nothing goes wrong. Everything's rosy. Everything, oh, uh, you know, this is great and da 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 da, da. You know, he, he's, he's not shy of telling you when it all goes horribly wrong. You know, as long... You know, same as some of these other... Same as other channels. It, it's... How much, what you see here is these these five channels is when it goes wrong we'll show you so and I think that's what I don't know, maybe that's what's appealing to you guys I, I I don't know but Toon said to me when we started doing this it's real life if people don't like it you can find another channel I think her phrase was something along those lines so check his channel out now when you go there if you like it and you leave a comment, if just to let him know that you've come from our channel, if you just mention something on along the lines that he dyes his hair and he rides a pink bike, I will love you forever because he really likes that. You know, he'll feel, he'll feel the love. <laughs> right, and then the last one, number five on the list. Now this will really, really divide opinion. This bloke is not that well known on YouTube, to say the least. And I, I put here my YouTube guilty pleasure. Okay, I'll give you the name first because I can't remember it. <laughs> so it is. Shit, where is it? The Double Life of Mix, Mr. Box. Now, it's not easy when it, to actually see one of his videos, and I'm not bullshitting here. His videos self-destruct. I'm not kidding you. So if you don't get that, if you don't subscribe, you don't know he's posted it, and then you click on his channel, it's been there, and it's and it's gone again. Okay. So you need to subscribe, and just trust, just give it a go. <laughs> and when he when he posts it, if it's not for you, just move on. But before you move on, just have a look in the comment section below. Because when I first watched the first episode, and I came in way too... I th I've only watched two episodes, and I love it. But I can't tell you why. It's a cross between X-Files, Donnie Darko, Clockwork Orange, and I, I do not know what. I'm not saying the bloke's disturbed, but 
I just love it. I absolutely love it. I've asked him the other week or a couple of weeks ago, can you um, upload a back catalogue? And he said, of course I can, for $10, but I'll throw in a free T-shirt. That's the, that's the sort of response you get. Um, hopefully he's going to do more. I think if we can apply peer group pressure, I won't have to send him $10 and, he'll, and, he, and he can start uploading more. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But certainly, I, I, I would say, I don't, if I had to hazard a guess, probably 30% of people will love it. It may be your favourite channel. Other 70% will be like, Lee, you need to get a grip. What the hell did you send us there for? Okay, so check it out. If you don't like it, again, move on. So that, that, that they were my five, my five channel um, uh, YouTube channels for purely for rural life. I like lots of other channels. I don't get a lot of time to sort of like trawl through them. That's not trolling. That's different. We'll talk about trollers later. I've got some special bits for you guys that are watching now. Um, so they're the ones that I, I, I really concentrate on if time allows but sometimes I get a backlog and, and, and uh, I just can't get through it I contrary to popular belief I don't have a lot of time on my hands I do work full time when I'm back in the UK Okay, when I'm on the farm it's not Toon doing all the work she does 90% of it but I still do help out from time to time where am I now? Okay, what is it? I've probably done about five hours and I've only got through section whatever. I really can't see where I'm going now. Okay. Right then. So the next section. Now this is, it, it, in my opinion, I, I think this is cutting edge. But we are, but I'm, I'm probably setting up myself for, a, for an epic fail here. Now this is for viewers and subscribers, uh, for uh, whoever has gone onto the channel. Me and Toon really, really appreciate you guys for commenting, and I've already said, you know, the amount of comments and interaction, and you guys talking to each other as well. Not ju not just me and Toon. <laughs> I haven't seen anything else like it. It's off the scale for, as far as YouTube goes, from what I've seen. Certainly in our little little niche. So. My, my my idea, uh, maybe it's a crazy idea, maybe it won't work, maybe no one will do this, but is apparently, I found out last week, we can set up a folder for all our viewers and subscribers and uh, any, any anyone else to upload their video clips to us. Now, w what I'm getting at is, if... Well, you're obviously a you for you to comment. You're obviously got a YouTube channel, and most of you guys haven't got videos. So our offer to you is: Do you fancy doing a three-second, a one-minute, a two-minute, three-minute clip of who you are, where you're from, what you uh, not necessarily what you like about the channel, but you know, just a woohoo, you know. Um, on TBA03 or something like that, you know, or my favourite video was da -da 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 -da, or I live in, I don't know, Pattaya or Bangkok, I, I live in Chiang Rai, Chiang Mai, and da -da 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 -da, or I'm going to come and live here next year, and ooh, I'm, all those sorts of things. Whatever you want to say, I'm going to try and set this up, it's like a, a, a playlist folder for you, and you upload it. Now, initially, don't get concerned if you can't see it. You'll see that you, you'll get given the link in the description, and apparently you just click on it, and it will let you upload your little clip. I'm going to keep that folder um, non-public initially, because there are some not nice people on YouTube, as I'm sure you're all aware, and we need to make sure that these people don't get any airtime. So we're going to crush the life out of those and everyone else that's nice and happy and funny what I aim to do is try and do a compilation of you all and, but once we've got enough to, you know, I don't know, I don't know to give it at least three or four minutes as a compilation if we get a lot more, I don't know, we might do a couple of compilations let's just see how it goes 
once we do the compilation we'll publish it as a live video so if you've never been on YouTube before there's your three seconds or one minute of fame and even if it's just a, a thumbs up and just to say hi that that'll be great and it and it, you know that's it, it's totally up to you if it falls flat on its face that's that's fine but the level of interaction that we've been getting I, I just thought it would be nice to offer you guys the opportunity to to have your say and because at the moment it's just your little profile picture and you know and we tend to get to know you but it's it's through texts but it would be nice to see you just just say some thinking or, or just give us a quick pan around of where you are and even if it's in I don't know Canada or uh, you know um, North Korea or, or anywhere or Australia maybe okay so there, there's the offer um, find the link below if I remember now the next one is for I'm trying to spread the lover again for, for YouTube and I'll explain why later um, for other YouTubers now this doesn't have to be rural life Thailand okay so I've given shout outs before to other YouTubers in Thailand and a couple I think one outside of Thailand so Stevie B in Malta all those sorts of things if you want to uh, and this will be a this will be a separate link to the to the one that I was just talking about. If you would like to upload your channel intros, if you've got one, if you haven't, try and come up with something. I don't know. Let's try and cap it off. I don't know about three minutes or so, and I won't fiddle with them. Okay. So if it's rubbish, it's your own fault. If it's great, I'll still take the credit for having it on my. Channel. <laughs> um, so give your channel a plug. And then that will be a list within a playlist folder of you know just all these channels, YouTube channels, and if people want to click on them, that's great. I'll give them a push later on. So yeah, it, it's just as another thanks because a lot of guys, a lot sorry, a lot of people that um, take the time to well invest their time and effort into commenting and watching all our videos. It's just another thank you to everyone and if you can pick up a few subscribers and a few views then it, it's all good the, the the problem well one of the reasons I'm doing it is I, I fully appreciate when you start at YouTube it's a nightmare trying to get your videos out there it is like pulling teeth so the first thing is keep uploading keep uploading keep uploading but people still have to click on it and getting your mum and your sister and your brother-in-law that's all well and I tried it I tried it, it doesn't make any difference at all. You need constantly to be uploading. When I say constantly, you need every three or four days or so. But the main thing is get people watching your video. So there's the offer, guys. Bang it on there. It won't be public straight away because I will not offer this to every single channel because there's some channels that I don't agree with. Okay? So don't be scared, bang it on there. Please, please don't take it personally if I delete it. <laughs> of course you will, I would. But you know, whatever, what bothered are we? Wayne, you know who's I'm gonna delete, don't you? But he hasn't got enough balls to put it on there anyway. Anyway, what are we doing next? Um, oh, that's led me quite nicely into Trolls e-beggars and copycats now tunes made me say I love you all and I do in a perverse way I I quite like someone that gets revved up talks out of their ear um, because it's so easily highlighted and if someone brings up a comment where I'm not saying a negative comment because most of us YouTubers have got no problem with that at all. Now I always give a lot of time and effort into commenting as, as Toon does. So anything in Thai, Toon will reply to that. Anything in, in English, I will reply to it. Toon reads all the Thai comments. You know, so there's, there's total clarity. Anything in Thai, 
I ask it, well, I try and, if I'm not with her, I Google Translate it, which is a bit dangerous, but if I'm, if it, I'm not sure, then I'll ask her. So there's, clo there's total clarity for, with me and Toon on who's posting what. I think I've gone off at a tangent. What was my train of thought? Still one take. I'm going to get back on track. Maybe. No, it's gone. I won't cut it though, honestly. Oh. oh, that's so embarrassing. No, it's not. It's real life, isn't it? So, e beggars. We're never going to e beg, guys. Alright? Never, ever. And I'm not going to sit here and, and slate other channel. Yeah, I've had a few opinions in the past, but I'm just past caring now. I don't agree with it, but hey ho. Um, what, what I would like to say is for channels that I, I don't particularly like, vloggers will always get my respect in the sense that it takes a lot of effort, a lot of time and effort. And the channels that get a lot of views but get a lot of flack. I don't know how you do it. I would bin it myself. So I mean, even if you're getting five thousand views a a video, if you, if if you're getting a hundred, you know, thumbs downs and negative comments and slanderous and all that sort of thing, I would just give up. You know, I just I I don't think I'd be able to cope with that. So um, you you do get my respect in in that sense, but that's as that's as far as it goes. If you want to send us a thousand pounds, we won't accept it unless you get something in return and by the end of the video I'll tell you what you can get for a thousand pounds copycats it's it, several of you guys and thank you very much you've, you've made us fully aware of other channels copying us but let's be honest uh, yeah you could probably copy me because I'll, I'll come over as a bit of a fool but you can't copy Toon Toon is a one off so anyone is trying to get their wife to copy my wife oh, crack on have a go at it whatever <laughs> but it stands out stands out like a sore thumb and please don't make her do it it's just so awkward right it's really not nice yeah um if, if you copy our content no problem at all you know if you if you want to do uh fishing on the farm with the frogs you want to i don't know jump in a lake or whatever yeah go for it that's to me it's there's only so many things you can record and um publish for rural time uh, rural life in thailand and that's what i've tried to explain to some people i've gone to great depths and i've even post uh, pinned the comment with my reply to the top of the post when to you see you do the same thing over and over again we live in rural thailand we go fishing we work on the farm we build in the house. We go swimming. We might go to a temple. What else do we do? We don't do anything else. That is our life. Now, if you don't like it, or maybe you're getting a little bit bored, I'm not sorry. I'm thank. I, we thank you for watching all the videos that you have done already. But if it comes like, we know full well that when we do a fishing video, the videos drop. You've got to be an absolute numpter, numpty to to not look at your, I'm not going to go into analytics, but just go by your pure viewing figures and your thumbs up. We know the fishing videos aren't as popular as the build videos. We know now that if we sit down and we talk seriously, we get loads of interaction from you. People want to, you know, a lot of you guys want to know a little bit more about me and Toon and our background and our plans. But at the end of the day, we've always promised from day one we will do an honest vlog for our channel and all those are the fives they're an honest vlog as well and that's why I've, 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 I give I'm not sure about Miss Double Life and Mr Box I really don't know about that but the other four most certainly um, yeah so I love all trolls e-beggars and copycats apparently um, <laughs> yeah, I've also put a note here Wayne, I can hear you egging me on um, to mention the snake. But believe you me, his time will come, mate. <laughs> Probably when we've been YouTube, just before. It'll be both barrels, mate. So uh, it, 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 it's in the bank. So first, 
first page gone, I think. I don't know. There's only 18 pages to go. No, no, bear with me. It's not that bad. Maybe it is. This could be our worst slating ever, this video. Let's go with it. Anyway, um... So, leading on from e-begging, I'm now going to go into, believe it or not, brace yourselves, Patron. Now, Patron is... I can just hear the cries already. Uh, is where you give money to a YouTuber. Okay, and now... Don't turn off. Don't skip this bit. All right, just, just, just listen, because you won't have heard this before. I can guarantee it. Now, most patroners or most YouTubers that set up Patreon are trying to do what, guys? What are they trying to do? They're trying to get the money from you for what? To buy their beers, to carry on living the life that they love, and what? Honestly, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm, I suppose I'm questioning, but I'm not dissing you. I'm questioning, why are you giving to these people and getting nothing in return? What, what are you getting in return? If you give someone, I don't know, £10, £50, £100, if you're going to send someone a piece of kit, what are you getting in return? Yeah, Is it, is it the feel-good factor that you're helping sustain someone? Or... Are you actually getting something for your, something physical for your money? I'm looking at now. This is only a possibility, but it, it's been playing. It's going in my head, and, it, and and I've only been going through this from something I saw on on, on YouTube um, last week, and I thought perhaps Patron has a place. Now, bear with me. What about if you joined Patron? When you join Patron. You send money, but by doing that, you actually save money. So I, I only thought about this the other day, and I thought, what a crazy idea. What about when we, me and Toon set up our fishing lake, and we're still doing YouTube, and you know that you're going to come to us to, I don't know, have a day or two fishing or a week fishing, uh, and, and that sort of thing, and you're going to book. So we'll set up the website and there will be the price, okay? If you're a patron and let's say, and I'm just plucking figures here, let's say, let's say it's one pound, right? But if you're a patron, when you book, we will give you 20 pounds off or if your patron is 100 bar, but we will give you 500 bar off. I'm pretty sure we're the only, we would be the only patrons, whatever you call it, offering to actually not give you money back, but actually save you money. Sounds like a crazy idea. How could it possibly work? It makes perfect sense to me. But then again, I am a little bit special. Okay, so I'm just putting it out there. Maybe it's a possibility. But maybe that's not enough. Maybe some of you guys will never want to or never can um, come to us in the future when we've got a fishing park. And, th and that's the main reason that we've started this video channel. You know, we wanted to raise the profile of who we are, where we are. We're off the beaten track. We're in a nice rural, like, real rural location, away from the madding crowd. You can hear a pin drop apart from the odd tot tot going past now and again and the odd motorbike but if you wanted to get away from it all in our opinion that this is the place to come if you love fishing that's great we'll have a library we'll have books we'll have we'll have dvds for you to to take out of our little library as well as books we'll have a playstation for the kids that you can have for a week or so or a few days we'll have a pool table we'll have a dartboard we'll have karaoke I hope that it's just tune singing and you guys, because you really don't want me to start wrecking the mic. I can tell you, the Ace of Spades after about five Leos will not go well. You know, so if you do want to come to us, you join Patreon, I'm sure we could set something up where you actually save money. But for you guys that can't or don't want to come to us, I'm getting back on track now, what about if we offered you something that our video channel can't offer you? 
and I've mentioned it to a few of you guys before in the comments and and Toon hasn't seen this video yet, she's watching it at the same time as you. Toon was writing a book a few years ago and she spent a long, long time um, compiling all these bits and bobs together and and I know a lot of people's, well nearly everyone's life story story is really amazing but Toons you could you could probably make a, 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 a feature length film of it so if she finishes that and it would be a lot a lot of effort she's, I don't know what percentage is the way she's through probably not, not even half um, but it would need to be then translated with, by me and her my English is totally pants we'd have to get it proofread and corrected maybe it's something that we could look at so you know, if you were looking at coming to the fishing lake and and you were interested in that sort of thing, and it, maybe it's something that we could introduce. I'm not saying we're definitely doing it. I'm just putting it out there. I'm just looking for a bit of bit of feedback. We're not looking to make money off you guys. We're we're looking to set up a fishing lake, live in the middle of nowhere, and if you want to come, that's great. But we will charge you. We, we you know we we're not on we're, we're not minted you know it's there's a few of you guys that are, are, I would consider you know good friends uh, that, are, that we've never met before but you seem to be of the same ilk and yeah that might be on sort of like you know come over and we might come to yours you might come to our, ours and yeah that's great but at the end of the day we've we've got to feed the animals we've got to feed the fish and those sorts of things so what I'm getting at is if if, if if we've got you as a viewer and you want to come and visit us and if we could try and set up for something through Patreon where you would actually save money I mean where else in Thailand could you get accommodation and fishing and food and karaoke cheaper than a Thai national boom pixie dust have you ever seen that before Phalang's getting charged less and Thai people in Thailand. Just think about that for a second. I'll leave you with that. Uh, so let us know what you reckon on that. I can't say that. No, 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 no. Um, right, so future plans. Um, as far as vlogging goes, after this one, the next one after this... And I'm not sure when because I'll that now I'll be in Thailand then, so I'm I'm, I'm going to publish this um, just before I leave for Heathrow, like I said, and then when I get to Heathrow, uh, when I get to Bangkok, Toon's meeting me straight off the plane, and we're getting straight on the bus. So she's going the night before. We're getting straight on the bus. It normally takes me a couple of days to get over that. Um, in that time, I'm probably not going to be doing any recording whatsoever but when Toon's watching a rubbish Thai TV sorry love um, that Indian movie that's in it's in Thai with oh, is it in Thai or is it in Indian and with the subtitles so the, the subtitles aren't in English um, and they're always doing rubbish races and, I, and I, I do I'm not a hater now I'm trying to be a little bit on the Buddhist side um, it's not my cup of tea I like to do my video editing then so I'll be doing a compilation um, so we've done two so far this seems to go down quite well it's, it's what it, if I'm honest it's it's one of the heaviest editing because I have to go through reams and reams of previous um, videos that we've uploaded but what the end result I just love them uh, when we look back believe you me me and two and look back at the videos and we're pissing ourselves. We are absolutely rolling around laughing. You know, whether it's the dogs or me falling over or, or getting a sore stuck and all those sort of things. We, we just love it. So we'll do a compilation and then we'll get back to videoing. Now, please remember, when we're back on, back in the village, our video internet is amazingly slow. We're doing it on uh, mobile data. So it's snail pace. So we have to knock down the resolution that we're recording at and I have to heavily compress every single file. 
so you'll also see the length of the videos chopped right down so this is probably going to be 75 hours this video most of our videos are going to be I don't know five or six minutes um, now future plans for videos I've got some wacky way out ideas for some video footage that I haven't ever seen in Thailand before and um, I hope you appreciate it. I'm not going to give you any hints over here because we have got trolls from other sites that do copycat us. So just you know, just bear with us. Um, but I want to I want to try and get those things in in as high a definition as uh, uh, as possible. So it might be spasmodic when we upload a video. I'd love to do it like a three minute video every single day sometimes it might happen sometimes it might be one a week sometimes it might be three a week too it's going to be all over the shop so bear with us I know people like to get into their routine I will try and post the same sort of time every day and that will be when Toon's watching a rubbish Thai TV I'll probably get you'll probably get barred from Thai YouTube won't you you can't really say too much about Thai stuff can you but um I don't know, if we said about 7, 8, 9 o'clock in Thailand, you know, you're looking 6 or 7 hours prior to that in the UK, America, 6 or 7 hours the other way, and then Europe an hour or two the other way. I think that's pretty much the ideal time. Okay, so regardless of what day we're uploading or pub publishing, and that'll be the sort of time that we're going to do it. I I might. It's difficult for me. I, I I might try and put in the description, but a lot of people don't read the descriptions, and that's why recently I've tried to post and pin my comment right to the top. As soon as I publish it, I put my comment on there, and a lot of the time I'm just copy and pasting. I'm sorry, but I'm copy and pasting what I've put in my description because the idea behind that is because we get so much interaction on the channels. I'm answering the same question, you know, maybe 10 times on a video. So rather than me typing it out and copy and pasting, if you can please look at the, 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 the top pinned comment or the description, it would really help us. To give you an idea, if we get 100 comments on a video, so say if we get, you know, we'll probably get 1,000 views. If we get 100, 120 um, comments on that, that takes quite a few, there's at least a couple of hours. Yeah. Over two days, that's a couple of hours easy. Uh, and you'll appreciate it because I'm sure all of you have had an in-depth reply from either me or two or both of us. So look at the top pin comment and you'll probably get a lot of your answers from that. Anything else, yeah, yeah, pop it down there, not a problem at all. So what else have we got planned? Um, I honestly don't know how long we will YouTube for. Um, I told you our, our, our initial plan was to raise awareness and start build up um, sort of like uh, a potential audience that could um, equate into people coming to visit us in the future. And yeah, I, I know a lot of you have already asked when we can come and visit you. Da, 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 da. But until we've got the until we've got the lake open, which is due to be start construction in next um, March, when the final lot of rental people are up, so the bit in the middle, which is a basin, that's where the lake's going to be. It's going to be approximately eight rye, leading out to about ten rye as we build up the sides and landscape round there. So the last people that are renting that area for rice at the moment currently. Uh, that's in March so depending on the rainy season if it comes when it's supposed to do we've got enough time to get the lake dug if it comes early so this this year it was late if it comes early next year honestly as soon as they put that first bucket in the, the water is already there so we won't be able to dig it next year if that is the case if the rain gods are with us we can get it dug but we're not going to just let it fill up and then throw the fish in there and we're not going to let people fish it straight away what we're trying to do is create a jungle environment it's going to be a bamboo farm it's going to be a bamboo jungle 
fishing park okay so you're going to be fishing in a jungle uh, it's going to be all rustic don't get me wrong your bungalows are going to be nice not as nice as Gordon Tickle's pads but they're going to be nice guys um, and a nice little restaurant a nice little sheltered area to do with a fire pit so you can barbecue your catch depending on the species of fish um, but what I'm getting at is it, we're not going to open straight away to the public initially our plans when when we feel that the, the lake and the fish are ready and all the plants are established then we may look at just opening at weekends first of all so weekends for, uh, for, for, for Thai people, for local people it's going to be priced, I mean if you're into your fishing it's going to be incredibly cheap compared to like Gillam's and Bun Sam Rang and all that lot. forget those prices, it will be nowhere near that but it won't be a 50 baht for your rod Okay, there's a lot of time and effort some of you guys that have looked at our um, fish, fish stock ponds and all that lot you, you know we've been poached, we've had to restock the time and effort getting these fish up to monstrous sizes it, it takes time you know it's and when they were stolen it was it just broke our heart so we've had to start again to some degree um, so we won't compromise uh, you know on that um, so it might just be open Friday Saturday Sunday um, come over the bar and restaurant will be open um, there'll be cold Leo's and Chang's and Hong Tong and all that lot and there'll be drunken karaoke as well, and there'll be somewhere to stay. Now, I think initially we're looking at maybe money permitted, finances permitting, two bungalows to start with near the lake. Now, remember, we are in the middle of nowhere. There are snakes and scorpions and mosquitoes. It is not, you know, all singing, all dancing in the middle of a city. It's 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 real, you know, out in the stick stuff. Now, if you want to come and the two bungalows that are planned, maybe we've got three. I don't know how much, how far the money's going to, to to stretch at the moment. Maybe we're fully booked. Maybe we're not. If we are fully booked, and we haven't sold the house in the village, then you can rent the house. You know, you can cook for yourselves, or you can just come back down. We can give you your motorbike. Just turn up in the morning with your hangovers, get your breakfast, and then get your rods again, and but get back on the lake. Stay all day get drunk again just top up sing on your karaoke and then we can even drive you back if, if, if I'm not too drunk uh, to maybe can take you back on your motor on the motorbike and then back to the house up there if you're going to stay on the farm don't worry about security it's going to be fenced we're going to have a pack of dogs on there you know Spoon is the most intelligent ferocious dog I've ever seen in my life Bambi she'd lick everyone to death Clop he gonna, he's a good barker but nothing else you know. but there are going to be other dogs and they will be fine with you guys because you'll be introduced to them but anyone else they're just going to get their back ripped out if they come on the land so don't worry about security um, I'm first aid trained so if you get a snake bite I'm not saying I'm sucking the poison out but um, maybe we can get uh, Toon trained up we've already thought about it you know, for snake bites and that sort of thing if it's not your cup of tea Honestly, don't even think about coming. You'll have to, I'm not saying rough it, uh, you know, there will be mosquito nets and repellents and all those sorts of things, but living out there and holidaying out there, you've got to be prepared for this sort of thing, and I wouldn't want to give anyone the wrong impression, so it's rural life, real Thailand. Uh, if you still want to come, but you're not sure if you could handle that, come in your winter months, come sort of like November till January. It's a little bit cooler, it's super dry, you won't even see a mosquito half the time. Okay, so that might be an option as well. Other than that, I don't know really what else to, to, to let you know about. We will be setting up next year a website for the like we haven't really finalised the, the name of the place. It's, I'm batting around the idea of maybe sort of like bamboo lake fishing lake resort or something along those lines. Let's get some input, you know, if you've got some ideas. But my mad castaways and then someone stole that um, last year. Some some big some uh, big lake in a, in a tourist area. So, yeah, if you can come up with an idea. So it's on a jungle theme. Uh, we've got a lot, we're going to have a lot of acres of bamboo. 
and it's going to be fishing. It's got accommodation, it's got karaoke, restaurant, pool, darts. You know, if you think if something pops in your head, um, you could even put it on your little video that I've said that you can upload for us into your little viewer section. Okay, so other than that, I can't really think too much else. We'll do an old school shout out. Some people that I've already shouted at before, but some people just make me piss myself laughing. Stinky Polecat. <laughs> I mean, it makes you laugh just the name. Um, yeah, terrible language. Terrible, terrible language. You really need to have a word with yourself about that, but oh my god, very funny. Vince, or Mr. Invincible 42, or whatever, oh, I can't remember your name. But um, yeah, Toons Barmy Army 01. Yeah, always quality. Um, oh my God, there's so many. Obviously, Wayne makes me laugh. Um, Brad as well. Um, uh, who else? Jesus, there's so many of you. But there's a lot of people that send, as well as taking the piss, you know, you, you, you give, it a, give us advice as well. Uh, Jim as well, always, always good. Yeah, I shouldn't have started this because I'm going to miss out about 500 people in England. You didn't tell, you didn't say it because I can. I only obviously I can only mention one or two on the little comments at the end of the video. So that's why. Don't feel aggrieved. Send us a little video to the clip below to the to the link below, and then you'll get your own three seconds or ten seconds of fame. Do it. I, I think I think it would be really really cool. Um. And then, shout out wise, um, other than viewers, is, and I know I've done it before, but my sister Sam and my brother in law Pete for letting me stay in your house free of charge. Now, they've, they've bought a house but not moved into it, so they, they didn't get robbed while I was there, that was for sure. I mean, I know my mum and dad are scousers, but I didn't steal anything, honest. Not that you can prove anyway. And. Um, but I was having an asthma attack every night because there were cats in there before I moved in so thanks for that I did have my blue inhaler did I nearly killed me off but I stayed for free so I've saved a shed load of money probably, that's probably saved me half a bungalow my mum because I've secretly stayed at hers when I'm not supposed to she's not allowed to, she's not allowed to do that but she let me do it a couple of times Um Mum does my washing, um, cooks for me, everything. She's um, a pillar of s strength when I'm depressed. I am ai know I come over grumpy on my videos anyway. It's just my style. I'm, happy, I'm a happy clappy on the inside, you would say. When I'm in the UK, my glass is always half empty. I am depressed as hell. To give you an idea, my favourite all-time um, programme is Grumpy Old Men. I love that. I should be on that. But I might be too grumpy for it. And my mum has to put up with that. She does. Um, but when she sees us in Thailand, because she comes over every year, generally speaking, she 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 understands why. And uh, I know it's no excuse, because I should be happy to be back, back in the UK, see my mum, my sister and my brother-in-law, and my son and my, and my daughter, although they're adults now, and I only normally get a, a call if they need some money. <laughs> No, that's, that's a joke. I love them to bits. They're great, absolutely great kids. But you know, I should be happy into the UK. But my heart is in Thailand with two. You know, it's it's always been that way. We've always wanted to live there, and um, come this December, at the at the very latest, that's that's it. So I'm just, I feel like I'm trying to, I'm falling over the line now. Um, I haven't got a lot left in the tank, you know. But I will, I will get there, and. Come December, I'm not saying you'll see a happy clappy vlogger, that will never happen, but you know, I will be, uh, I think we've talked about it a few times with Fubia, that is Toon and Lee's utopia, that is our dream life, that is our fairy tale. We've always thought we would get there, well, we dreamed about getting there, we hoped that we'd get there, but to actually get there, it's in touch and distance now, it's an amazing feeling. Wayne's done it, Gordon's done it, Brad's done it, Paul's done it, Harry's done it, 
not sure about Mr. Box, but he's in Thailand somewhere. Maybe. I'm not even sure if he's in Thailand. Okay, but, you know, we've all gone through it to some degree. And then when you get there, you've got all the stresses, all the problems and that. But believe you me, it is worth it. You know, some of you guys are just like, my God, yeah, Jesus, this, da, 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 da. Like, to us, it's just like, you get in the mindset, well, whatever, yeah, I'll, I'll curse, I'll swear, but tomorrow is another day, and you're just, it's the Thai way, you know, you just stiff up a lip, and you just, well, what was the chances of that happening? I can't believe it happened, but we'll carry on. I think Gordon said it once when um, there was a little old lady, and uh, she had corn in the field, or rice in the field, or something, and it got flooded, and it all got, got washed away, and she's a poor lady, and the next thing, pay someone else. Reset the resow the crop, start again. Don't whinge, get on with it, and that's me and two. No, we do whinge, but then we get on with it. Last shout out, and I'm going to try not to get emotional about this, because Wayne will say, "Get a grip, mate." Don't want any of that girly namby pamby stuff. Is and I know I'm guilty of not looking into the camera but remember Toon will be watching this same time as you guys and this is a hundred percent for Toon my wife thank you thank you for remaining strong all these years this work trip has been almost two months that's how many videos we had to take we were, bit, we were getting a stockpile of about three videos a, a day because we knew two months was coming up we knew that video uh, YouTube would destroy our channel if we didn't keep posting so that's why we've stockpiled it all two months is the longest that me and Toon have ever been away for I don't know how many years we've done it so many years ago We've forgotten what it's like, and it's always hard when we leave each leave each, leave each other. Me and Toon live in each other's pockets. I, I think I've had a heart to heart on the video before. We don't have a huge amount of friends. We've got a select few really really close friends, but me and Toon, even when Toon was in the UK, we used to go everywhere and do everything together. That that's me and Toon. That's our style, mainly because. She's so jealous, and so am I. Um, so it's so hard to be away from each other. Toon has to be in the house alone, and I know she gets a lot of help from, um, certainly this time, from a, a younger nephew, Lek, and a very, very good friend, Pioi, as well. And she looks after the house. We've got the little shop that she has to take care of. We've got the chickens, we've got the dogs, we've got the fish. And on top of that, we've got the farm as well. And and Toon, is, she only had a couple of driving lessons, so any stock that she has to get is done on the motorbike. So I fully, fully appreciate and understand what you have to go through every time I'm back in the UK. And this time has been the hardest ever in my book I think maybe for you as well and I just want to let you know not for much longer Mrs. Mrs. Kong love you Lak na Lak mak mak thanks for watching guys and compilation next time cheers one take one take <laughs>